okay guys so Michael doesn't know this but on Thursday Saturday now I found out I was pregnant we were at lunch and I took a pregnancy test because I just fell off and it said pregnant so I was like oh my god what am I gonna do I need like a minute to wrap my head around things so I decided to wait like I said it's Saturday now until today since we're in Cabo to tell him so we're setting up a very nice breakfast that Michael's going to think Paul Mia sent <laughs> little does he know so guys this is what we're doing we're doing a down situation like Beauty and the Beast and he's gonna sit down thinking he has eggs benedict little does this little fucker know it's actually pregnancy tests thanks guys <laughs> The yellow moment's looking good. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Fucking pregnant? I'm freaking out. I found out on Thursday. <laughs> I knew it. Why are you freaking out? Because I haven't been able to tell you and you've like been such an idiot. Have you been drinking? No, I haven't been drinking. You haven't even noticed. Uh, <laughs> I don't typically get that emotional. Well, what's better than a mix of yourself with your wife? No. You are? Mm -hmm. Is that good that it's moving around? Yeah, it's fine. We just told Gillian and Mauricio. We put this on their champagne. We're here to do a full video. Yeah, show the whole video. <laughs> so far today, I've eaten pie, noodles, chips, uh, cookies, pancakes, and eggs. You were wondering why I ate so much food? Yeah. I was a cow. Yeah, chicken tenders and like grilled cheese. That's the heartbeat, huh? No, you're not skinny. <laughs> Can you not eat out of the pan like that? And I also had fries. And fries. And uh, yeah, double order fries. And I. <laughs> In the purse from the restaurant that you just went to when you're stealing cookies. We're here with uh, my wife. She's um, checking up for the child that I put in her belly. What's this appointment do you think? This appointment is the 12 week ultrasound. We're and in the home stretch. I'm freaking the fuck out because I have to get my blood drawn. It's not that big of a deal. It's a huge deal, Michael. They never, they always miss my vein every single time. And so I'm probably. If I could give you my veins, I would. So Michael thinks he's a dad now, even though he's not a dad yet. And this is his dad look of the day. He's got his fanny pack and he's ready to go. Anyways, and we're also getting an ultrasound. And help me help the baby waves at us. Yeah, last time I did a little wave. <laughs> Show us how I can I, like I feel like this dress, you can really tell that I am pregnant. What you don't see on Instagram right now. This is how I hide it, I like this. We're going to the lemon rush. It's side views. Just gotta suck it in like that, right? Sucking it in, babe, sucking it in. Oh, I suck it in, babe. At this point, the baby is supposed to be the size of a lemon. Which is so fitting. Michael, I feel like you matched me. So anyways, I suck it in like this. It's really like this. We are going to work out and go to breakfast. It's growing. It's growing. I feel a little sad, but Michael's telling me I need to get over it. But it's just like we're so attractive. We just did the deed, like. All right, we don't. Everyone doesn't need our legs. I mean, one of the reasons why, because of the foods. I know. No, one hundred percent because of that. And then Michael said, "Michael." This is a fucking yeah. <laughs> what photo are we taking? We're taking a baby photo. And you weaseled your way in it. Wes is here. Mimi's here. All right, you guys. So we are recreating the Faye Dunaway Oscars shoot, but we are doing it with ultrasounds and baby bottles. 
How good is this? Meow, look at this. Whoa, look at you. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, I'm ready to make a baby. I'm ready for it to pop right out into my arms. It's popping right out into your arms. Whoa. So we had an amazing shoot, it's all done. We're gonna share the pictures on Instagram. Keep in mind, this is two weeks before the pictures went live. Um, so you're seeing this. For a time that you know, did you see what happened here? You're like the diamonds in a room. you see? One, baby. <laughs> I already love you more than anything in the world, including my wife and my twelve, which is hard to say. Two, you can do anything you want to do with my full support, even if people tell you it can't be done. I will help show them that it can be done with you. And three, you have unconditional love and support at all times, as long as you're always putting effort into the world and not getting complacent. And that's it. So we're going to tell our entire family by hiring an airplane with a banner that says Baby Boston. Because what we like to do is keep it low key by not telling everybody for five months and then literally hire a plane to tell the entire city. Yeah, I love, I love a plot twist. I don't think any of our parents are going to believe that we didn't tell anybody for this long. My dad will know. His intuition is very, very smart and he breeds my energy. Mom, I love you, but so the last time I saw her, which is literally last week, she came and sat me down. She's getting very nervous. She's wondering if we're going to have children. She's like, hey, when are you guys thinking about it? What's going on? I mean, I'm in a wheelchair in the retirement she, home. She tried, in the, she tried in the beginning to do the straight, have yeah, my, kids approach. my eggs are like retired. And then she tried to do the like, maybe, what do you think? And now she's kind of just doing like, she's like, do you think you'll ever? And I, and I almost broke down the other day, but I couldn't. I didn't have thought. So I think she's going to be shocked to learn that not only are we pregnant, but that she'll have a grandchild in her arms in four months. Yeah, I think she's gonna freak out, and I'm really excited for her to become a grandma. And, her, and my stepmom to become a grandma again, because I think both of them are gonna be in Hot tip, if you're having sex, carry pregnancy tests around because you never know. I mean, you could be enjoying an artichoke salad on a casual Thursday and go to the bathroom and pull one out just for shits and giggles and find out you're pregnant. Next thing you know, you got a seed in your gut. A seed, what is with this word seed?